Greetings and salutations to all of you lovely people out there in YouTube land. Welcome back to another installment of Counter Reaction. So, in today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at Falling in Reverse, Voices in My Head. This was a heavily requested song, and I've enjoyed everything that I've heard from them and Ronnie thus far, which is good news for me and good news for the channel. Now, there might not be that many of you guys to make these videos for, but because I enjoyed their music so much, it's not a big deal. However, any of you lurkers out there that are enjoying the content, that haven't done the things that I don't mention, maybe at least consider joining the conversation. You know, don't like saying it, don't like putting it out there, it bothers me, it is what it is. But uh, anyways, best audience ever. Let's go ahead and get right into this one. Voices in my head keep on telling me to pray Cause I'm spinning like a carousel circle in the train Hit the bottom of the bottle, I don't wanna feel the pain But that is all I got for now I like the uh, like 80s retro wave vibe so far I'm sure it's gonna change and you know be fused with rock elements But um, but yeah, I like that I don't want to talk about the voices in my head keep on begging me to stay if I pull the trigger now then the demons go away and I know my time is coming so there ain't no time to waste so that is all I got for now I don't want to talk about the voices in my head keep telling me to choose a side it's heaven or hell like it's you I thought that was MGK for a second um when he played uh who did he play I, I don't even remember what the movie was based on but it was like a, a rock group I forgot I had way too many drinks that night, tried to watch it, and then knocked out. Um, I'm trying to remember. I know it's an iconic group. I don't know. I'm sure you guys will let me know down in the comment section. Or die. I'm a sad boy. You know better. Please don't make this last forever. The voices in my head keep telling me I'm not. That losing my mind note, very reminiscent of uh, the Papa Roach song. Um, let's go ahead and rewind it a little bit. Um, so far, pretty solid song. It's a good song, but I would say, based on the first minute of this listen, um, it's not my favorite of theirs, that's for sure. I would say this would have to be in last place thus far. It could change... You know, sometimes there's breakdowns towards the end of their songs and they're like super cool. Um, so that might change. But in the first minute, definitely, definitely in last place. But I mean, it's still a solid song. So. I'm losing my mind. Giving me the worst advice Kamikaze crash like a suicide I'm a lost boy, you know better Please don't make this last forever in my head keep on telling me i'm cursed i'm paranoid i don't want to make it any worse we're all gonna die but first things first i'm gonna take the world with me when they put me in the dirt the voices in my head keep on telling me i'm cursed i'm paranoid okay so just from a writing perspective um you know it sounds fine when you hear it it makes perfect sense the whole i'm gonna take everybody with me when they put me in the dirt I know it's just for the sake of the rhyme, but at the same time, it doesn't make sense to me because once you're in the dirt, like, you're, if they're the ones putting you in the dirt, 
how are you going to take them with you? You know, it's kind of just one of those like weird conundrums, I guess you can say. It stays on theme. Again, not trying to nitpick, but uh, lines like that usually do stick out to me for sure. Wanna make it any worse? We're all gonna die, but first things first, I'ma take the world with me when they put me in the dirt. Move! like how that was synchronized i really like that it's a beautiful touch the there's a lot of beauty in the details in their music videos which i appreciate maybe maybe everybody does or maybe not i'm not too sure what everybody picks up on when they when they listen to them or watch the music videos but i like that i thought it was i thought it was nice that they that that was included like elevator background music like that is so cool like the sound stage is different obviously because of you know where he's at in the music video and it, it matches up perfectly you know that it, it creates that that depth it creates that distance the mixing on all the music videos is really good i don't know if all of these elements are on the album versions as almost every single time i've listened to their music it's been the music videos I would assume maybe this part was taken out of the album version, or maybe they kept it in. I'm not too sure, but I, I love it nonetheless. It's cool. It's a nice touch. There was words on the elevator, like in the top part. Okay, so the losing my mind note still sticks out to me. Um, I wouldn't say that it uh, it bothers me, but I can't unhear it. I might have preferred if that was delivered a little bit differently, or maybe it was just to pay like homage or homage. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that word. I just know how to spell it and do know that there are different ways of pronouncing it. Anyways, but yeah, the song, it was it was solid enough. It didn't quite captivate me the way a lot of the other songs did. I personally don't feel that there was a lot of highlights in this song. The subject matter, definitely very relatable to a lot of people. It didn't really offer a solution or reassurance to those people that relate to this song and letting them know that, you know, things are going to get better. But I would have liked to hear something along those lines personally, because the only exit strategy that he had mentioned was, you know, suicide, which is fine, especially within this genre of music. But I always do like when a silver lining is included regardless, and that can be delivered in a hardcore type way or very softly. I don't know. It just depends. So playlist, no list or blacklist. <laughs> Yeah, this is gonna be the first no lister for me. I would gravitate more towards Popular Monster than, than this one. And as you guys know, Zombified is my favorite song from them, hands down. Like it's not even close. I think second place would probably be Watch the World Burn just because of how unique it is and and how mind fucked I was when I watched it. And the rapping bits, they kind of grew on me a little bit. As some of you guys might know, I'm very critical of uh, hip hop more so than any other genre uh, and the artists within. But I think Ronnie displayed a lot of different techniques in those rapping bits and I can appreciate them for what they are. And as a result, they kind of grew on me a little bit. But anyways, please let me know what you guys want to see next and I will be sure to get around to it uh, probably next week sometime.
But anyways, that is going to be all for me, guys. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend it with me. And I hope to catch you all on the next video.